Hey guys, it's Anna from Bright Lane Gardens, and today we're going to do a product review on this brand new Ryobi 20 inch 13 amp electric lawnmower. This is our very first electric lawnmower. Uh, this is our first push lawnmower in actually a really long time. So this is a totally new product to us. We're super excited to test it out. We have a lot of other Ryobi electric uh, yard tools and we really, really like them. So I was really excited to give this a try. When I say we are going to be testing this out, I actually mean Nick is going to be testing this out today. We put in some sod. You can see behind me here. We do have a couple of areas that are landlocked by landscaped areas, so we actually can't access them with the riding lawnmower, hence why we needed an easy solution for an inexpensive, smaller push lawnmower that we could easily use to access those landlocked areas. Now, Nick was the one who unboxed this guy. It was super easy to assemble. I'll show you a picture of the box that it came in. It was actually quite small. I was very surprised by it. Here is the box the mower came in. There's a five gallon bucket on top for reference. Hardly any assembly is required. The handlebar is simply folded directly over the actual mower and to assemble you just unfolded those. Right off the bat, before we even power it up, I have to say this is one of the lightest lawnmowers I've ever tried to push. I'm really surprised by it. I think even our two-year-old could push it. So if you are a smaller stature, don't like to push as much when you're trying to mow the lawn, this could be a really good option for you. But let's take a look at how it handles once we get to the sod. A few specs on this Ryobi 20 inch 13 amp push lawnmower. This is an electric corded lawnmower, which means there are no batteries on this lawnmower. The cord did not come with this mower. We did end up having to purchase a 50 foot extension cord separately, and that worked out quite well for us. It has seven cutting height options with a minimum of 1.5 inches and a maximum of four inches. This has a push button start, which was a really unique feeling when it comes to starting a lawnmower, and it's 120 volts. Nick is just practicing with some of the settings of the mower deck. There are actually quite a few different levels that you can have the height of the deck set to. We're starting at the highest level first. Uh, that was actually a little bit too tall for us, so we are going to bring it down one more notch and try it out from there. I like that. We've got the mower deck height set exactly where we want it, so Nick is going to do his first full pass with the Ryobi mower. Right off the bat, one of his first observations was simply that it's not very powerful. Now, again, a disclaimer is our grass was really long for this, so I think if it was shorter, it would have been a little easier to push, um, but unfortunately it was quite long, and he did have to give it a little bit of effort to really push it through that tall grass. The second thing that he noted is just how strange it is to have to look out for a power cord while you're mowing the grass. I was impressed with just how close of a cut the mower could come to the edging that we had installed there. We have a lot of hardscaped areas in this specific region, so being able to mow right up to the edge of those is very beneficial. How full is that? Oh my god. Well, this is really tall though. By this point in the process, Nick was really starting to get the hang of using the electric mower and how to deal with the cord as well. A lot of his movements were really slow and calculated. This really ensured that we got a nice even cut on the grass. As I mentioned before, it was really long, so we needed to take some extra time to make sure that every blade was cut. One observation that I wanted to point out that you can't tell from the video, this machine is truly so quiet. It really surprised me every time he turned it off and on just how quiet it was. But the other part was all you could smell was fresh grass. I think we've grown accustomed to when we smell that scent of fresh grass so that it's kind of combined with the smell of gasoline as well from gas powered mowers. So that was a unique juxtaposition in this whole process here was it was really just fresh grass. The emptying of the bag did become a bit of a nuisance. Uh, Nick ended up having to bring up this large black trash can that you can see here and emptying the bag into the trash can. The grass was pretty long, so I don't think it would have been as bad if it was shorter. Despite the perceived lack of power compared to a gas powered mower, I think we were both overall really impressed with just how great of a cut it made on the lawn. This angle gives you good perspective of just how long the grass was before we cut it and just how even of a cut we got from this mower. Hey guys, this is Nick and I've got my first impressions for the Ryobi uh, 13 amp 20 inch um, electric lawnmower. This is the uh, corded version. 
which is probably the most interesting thing about it. I didn't even know that corded mowers exist. Uh, I guess that makes sense, though. Um, so it's a lot of similarities to uh, vacuuming with the cord management. You're going to be whipping that out of your way as you go, uh, just uh, higher stakes and running over it with uh, the vacuum, I guess. Um, initially, I felt a little silly buying this machine. We do have a riding mower, and, um, you know, that's what we've used for years. But we uh, put this um, sod in here, so this is a very delicate surface. And then we have an uh, area in the back corner there that is completely blocked off by landscaping, so the riding mower just can't get back there. So uh, what we were looking for was something that was uh, cheap, could uh, bag the clippings so we didn't need to worry about collecting them otherwise, and um, that, that was pretty much it. Uh, we picked this up from Home Depot for just a little over $200 online, and I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Um, first impression... It's a little underpowered for if you're going to be mowing taller grass. Uh, we let this get a little out of control for a couple weeks after we planted, so it was uh, slow going with the first mow. The uh, collection bag filled up quickly, but it did it did a good job. The bag's rather small, but like I said, ours was uh, very tall, so I think if you were doing more of a maintenance cut of an inch or less, uh, this bag would, would do pretty good for that. Overall, I would definitely recommend this machine, um, especially for someone that has a small yard, um, someone that has a uh, very limited budget. Maybe you don't need to use the mower many times a year. Um, and the final category would be for somebody who may have trouble moving around a larger machine. This is um, extremely light, surprisingly light. Um, it's an electric machine, so that makes it lighter. And then to not have the batteries on board makes it uh, strangely light. So it's a good machine if you're just looking for something simple and easy to get a small space done. Overall, we're very pleased with this purchase, and we would recommend it to anyone who's mowing a smaller area, a landlocked area like we have, or looking for a lighter machine that's overall easy to handle. Price point was an added benefit to the overall purchase. We are very pleased. I would give this product an 8.5 out of 10, and we're really looking forward to having this in our yard to use in some of those tougher to access spaces. As I mentioned earlier in this video, this is just one of many Ryobi pieces of machinery that we use on our property here. Across the board, we've really enjoyed their products. They've lasted us for a long time and they can endure quite a bit of use. So I do have to give this guy my stamp of approval here. This is one of many product reviews that we hope to do in the future. We're very picky on the products that we choose to review because we want to make sure it's something that we can really give an honest opinion on. If you enjoy watching this type of content or want to learn more about some of our other favorite products in our backyard, please take some time to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions about this lawnmower specifically, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I'll let Nick go ahead and answer those. As always, thanks so much for tuning in with us, and we hope to catch you next time.